Today we're going to talk about the commutative property of addition rule. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, my name is Bob. I know, I don't sound like Bob, but I'm Bob. I'm going to explain the commutative property of addition rule to you. Don't worry, it's a snap. Okay, first we need to learn the words, commutative property of addition. This way you'll know what I'm talking about when I use them. Say it with me, commutative property of addition. That's great. Commutative property works for multiplication too, but since we're not ready for that yet, we're just going to be talking about addition. Remembering the name is easier when you understand that commutative is like the word commute. Commute means to go back and forth in some way. People commute back and forth to work in a car. I'm off to work. I'm going home. The commutative property rule works the same way. The atoms can commute back and forth or be changed from one spot to the other. So 3 plus 1 is the same as 1 plus 3. Commutative property is known as the order property because the order of the two addends doesn't matter in finding the sum. Wow, that sounds complicated, but it's not. It's like this. Dog plus cat equals dog and cat. Cat plus dog equals cat and dog. If you have a dog and a cat, or a cat and a dog, it doesn't matter. You still have the same two animals. Here's another way to look at it. A plus B equals B plus A, or 2 plus 1 equals 1 plus 2. The order of the atoms are just flipped from one side to the other. It's that simple. Let's try flipping some and see how you do. What is the commutative property partner for 6 plus 7? It is 7 plus 6. What is the commutative property partner for 5 plus 9? Do you know? It is 9 plus 5. What is the commutative property partner for 10 plus 2? Yep, you're right. It is 2 plus 10. Are you getting it? Of course you are, because like I said, it's a snap. Okay, so now you're ready for a full equation. We know that 1 plus 2 equals 3, so we know that 2 plus 1 equals 3. We just flipped around the 1 and the 2, but the sum did not change. That is the commutative property rule. Now let's try some partner equations. We'll do the first one together. 3 plus 4 equals 7, so we know that 4 plus 3 equals 7. Okay, it's your turn. What is the commutative property partner to this problem? 5 plus 2 equals 7. It is 2 plus 5 equals 7. Did you know that? What is the commutative property partner for 8 plus 4 equals 12? It is 4 plus 8 equals 12. Now that you are starting to get it, let's try one more thing. Let's use one equation to solve another one using the commutative property rule. We know that 5 plus 3 equals 8, so we know that 3 plus 5 equals... Using the rule, you should be able to see that the answer is 8. Changing the add-ins didn't change the sum. Okay, it's your turn. What is the answer to this problem? 6 plus 4 equals 10. So, 4 plus 6 equals... Yep, it is 10. Here's another one. What is the answer to this problem? 
12 plus 2 equals 14. So 2 plus 12 equals, you got it, it is 14. Here is the last one. What is the answer to this problem? 5 plus 13 equals 18. So 13 plus 5 equals, you got it, it is 18. Yippee, you did it. You learned the commutative property of addition rule. Now see if you can teach the rule to a friend.